there you guys i'm teddy from bijutel beading and in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful white lacy seed beads bracelet it's really easy to make and i'll show you step by step so i'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done like those earrings and i'll link to the tutorial of the earrings here at the eye icon and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are only two colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o's if you want. And here I use a lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors, and I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to take 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here. You see? And I'm going to slide those down. Stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice here through the loop I made and I pull. And I want to make one more knot just to be sure everything is nice, tight and secure. And pull again. Okay. And then in my next step I will go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to start my next row okay and for my next row I need three beads first and as I'm exiting from this black bead I'm going back in circle through it okay now you see what I have I have uh, here loop between my beads and I have what's called right angle with four beads in a cross then I'm going in my next seed bead and here I need two beads okay I need two and as I'm exiting here from this black bead I will go through this black and through the one that I was exiting out of okay again I have four beads two are already there one for my inner row and one from my first uh, loop of beads and then I'm adding two again I have four in total okay then what I do is that I go in my next black bead and I will repeat this by adding two black beads and going back in circle through this one and you could also go through the following bead just to save time because anyways you should go through it okay now I have this then I will continue this take two beads go back in circle through these two and through the following black you see how I'm going out here okay then again I need two beads go back through these two and through the following bead in my inner row okay okay guys and now I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I will be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue this the same way I showed you this is what I have and here my first and my last loop of beads meet that is why 
I'm going to make something different here. So when I started this row, I started it with three beads. Then I continued with two beads until this step here. Okay. So I made here my last element. And then what I want to do is go through the next bead. And here I usually added two beads, but one of them is already there from my very first elemental loop of beads, okay? And then I'm taking one more black bead and I'm going back through all of those beads. Again, forming four beads, but I'm adding only one because three of them are already there. If my explanations are too difficult for you, just follow what I'm doing visually. Okay, and now I'm going in this black bead here, taking just one white bead and go here in my black. Okay. Then again, take one white bead and go here in the next black one more go in the next okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row pause this video do this and I'll meet you here okay guys and I'm adding here my last white bead and now I'm exiting here of my black one and I will take three black beads and I will go back in circle through this black one here. Okay, now I have this. And now my goal is to exit out of the white and the black. I want to exit out of my next black bead. Okay, and what I want to take are three black beads. And I'm going back in circle through this black one here. Okay. Now I have this. Then I'm going through the following two, the white and the black, like I did before. Always aiming for the next black one. And here I have three beads. Go back in circle and my goal is to exit out of my next black bead. Okay. And I'm pulling. Three beads again. And going out of the white and the next black one. Okay. Now I have this and I'm going to continue this until I'm up to here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do is go here at the end of my row like this. And I prefer to flip my work in this direction at this stage because I like to work uh, in this direction, I'm right-handed, okay? Now, what I want to take here are black, white, and a black, okay? And as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going through the following black bead that's sticking out. Okay, then I'm going to repeat this, a black, a white and a black, okay. And I'm going through the following black bead. A black, a white and a black. And I'm going here in my next bead. Okay guys, and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here 
I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now you see I'm exiting out of this white bead. And what I want to take here are five black beads. Okay, I have my five here. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, I'm going here in my next white. Okay. Now I have this. And I'm going to take five more. I have my five and go here in the next white one. Okay, five again. Here they are, my five. And I'm going in my next white bead. Okay, I'm going from white to white, okay? And now I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Like that. And now what I'm doing is that I'm going through these two black beads like that. I'm skipping this one in the middle and I'm going through the following two and the white one and when I pull you see what I have this is sticking out okay then I'm going in my following two beads like that I skip this one in the middle and I go through the following two black beads. Okay, if you can do this, just help with your needle a little bit and then pull. Okay, I will show you one more time going through these two black beads, skipping the one in the middle and going again through the following two and pull okay and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and now i'm going to show you how to add your clasp okay what i need are three c bits and i also need my clasp here and then I need three more seed beads, okay? So this is what I take on my needle. And I want to go here through this other bead that's sticking out. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to reinforce this, okay? And in order to do this, I will go here. Then I want to be back here and reinforce this part. Okay, and now I'm here and I want to reinforce it. Go again through all of those beads in this direction. Then through all of those. Then I might decide to go through the center here. and through those beads and one more time reinforcing my clasp here okay then i will go through all of those beads and find a place to make a knot okay let's say i will make knot here and i'm making here a loop 
and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then go in the following seed bead with your needle pull and cut your thread now guys I'm going to make the second element of my bracelet and I'll be back to tell you how to connect this one to my second one Okay guys, and I made one more element the, the same way I showed you before. If you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and do this again up to this part here without cutting your thread. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to attach those two elements and continue your bracelet. Okay, so I'm exiting here out of this black bead that's sticking out my angle black bead. And I'm going to take one black bead and go here in my first element in the bead that's sticking out in my first element and now this is what I have here and I will take one more black bead and I will go back in circle through this element like this okay now I have something like a cross or, or also called right angle weave, okay, for beads in a cross. And I'm going to reinforce this one, okay. Going around, reinforcing my work here. Okay, guys. And now I'm here. I'm sorry, I went through this one. I don't want to go through this one, but now I'm here and I want to go through all of those beads here in this direction and exit at the next angle bead here, okay? but going through all of those beads here and pull okay like that then what I want to take is one black bead and I'm going here in this angle bead like that you see going like this And I will take one more black bead and go back in circle here. And now you see I have the same thing like I had here and I'm going to reinforce it. Okay guys, now I will choose a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and as I'm here guys, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, here I make a loop and I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made. And I pull like that and then I will go through the following and now I'm going to cut my thread okay and now guys, I'm going to continue my bracelet the same way. I will make one more element, connect it here the same way. And uh, if you forgot how I did it, rewind the video and see how I'm making uh, my element and connecting it. And uh, when I'm almost ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and now I have five elements attached the same way I showed you. And you could do six if you want, but I prefer to make five because my wrist is smaller. Okay, and now I'm here where I'm attaching 
my last fifth element okay and i'm going to reinforce it the same way i showed you okay and here instead of cutting making a knot and cutting my thread what i want to do is go through all of my beads and attach here my jump ring Okay guys, and now I need to take seven seed beads. Okay, and I have my seven. And I will take my jump ring. And I will go here through the other bead, angle bead that's sticking out. Okay, and now I will reinforce this, make a knot, and my bracelet will be ready. It's just the same. Uh, like this part when I was showing you how I'm attaching my clasp. This is the same thing. Okay, and now my bracelet is ready. Okay, guys, and now my white lacy seed beads bracelet is ready. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.